Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nutanix President Sudhish Nair. Hi there, folks. So here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to talk about that lame joke that everyone uses that I'm standing between you and the last drink. So I'm not going to do that. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you the story of a hungry man. I guess uh, not unlike most of you probably, right? Hunger is a primary drive. What I mean by that is when people are hungry, they make stupid decisions. Right? Like this man, he's not eaten anything for the last 10 days, and he's happened to see a tiger. It's a man-eating tiger, a big one. And he's thinking, tiger burger. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work out well, because his plan is to somehow find a way to eat that tiger. You guys are laughing, but let's say you haven't eaten anything, and you see a tiger, I can assure you you probably will think about a tiger burger too. But funny part is the tiger is probably thinking human burger, and you know who wins, right? Now, the point is, hungry people make stupid decisions. Now, you are thinking, what happens if the person is fed? Chances are this person is going to make some sort of rational decisions, like maybe I should get the hell out of here like some of you are thinking from this conference room. <laughs> maybe I should find a way to get out of here and save myself. And maybe, if nothing works, I'll fight it, and I'll try to find a way to cage that tiger. That is because once the hunger is satiated, you start thinking about the rational thoughts that comes with it. Right about now, you are thinking, what the hell is going on? Contextuality to tiger hunting to tiger burger. Isn't this supposed to be a technical conference? Yes, and it's been too long. All right? So I am going to talk about this stuff, but I'll make it quick. The point is we spent the whole day talking about some interesting stuff. Cloud, what cloud means to you, how the business looks at cloud, and all of those kind of stuff. And it all sounds new. But let me assure you, Everything that you've heard today has happened before. It has happened before, maybe in different contexts, maybe in different words. Nothing is new. For example, one of the biggest trend, some people may call it fad, was that about offshoring call centers. Remember 10, 15 years ago, every business was about, let's offshore the call centers to someone else who will do just that. There was also a lot of trend about, like, let's outsource the entire IT and development to someone who does just that. And the SIs and outsourcing agencies used to come to you and say, I have 20,000 English-speaking call center people that will do just that. Why do you want to be in this business? Let us do it for you. There used to be people who come, I have 10,000 C++ programmers. You are a hospital. Let us do that for you. And the bean counters will wake up and say, hmm, that sounds good. Because they can do it at one-tenth the cost. Let's outsource the whole thing. What happens soon after that, something interesting. They see that no one cares about your customers as much as you do. No one writes the code the way you want it to be written. And they start thinking about, let's do a little more rational thinking here. Maybe we should do something different. Not that let's not use outsourcing. Let's figure out ways to figure out what makes sense to be outsourced. Maybe some maintenance project, some quality assurance, I'm going to outsource. But the core IP for my business, I'm going to keep it inside. What happened there is something interesting. What's happening here is something that has happened a long time in the human psychology, and it is nothing new. For tens of thousands of years, Human needs have been layered on top of each other. There is a foundational layer that you have to fulfill, and until and unless you do it, others don't show. Now, others are important, but they don't show. These things haven't changed for tens of thousands of years, except because we are in Vegas, 
around 6.30, it changes, but in large part it hasn't changed. What's happening today in the industry is that we, vendors, are not feeding you. You go to Azure, swipe your credit card, 10 minutes later, you have your three-tier app running. Your application, your web server, your database, everything is running. You come to your data center, try to do something like that. You have to do an RFI if you are in Canada, right? Maybe RFP. Then you need 10 different vendors to come together, and you have to do that disgusting dance between the salesperson and your procurement person to get the best price. And even then, you don't know if you're getting the best price. How archaic the whole process is, right? You do all of that. Then you get POCs. Then after six months later, if you're lucky, this thing is about to come up. And by the way, there will be some performance problem. And by the time you troubleshoot, there are 10 people pointing fingers at each other. And then at the end of the day, it might come up. And by the time it comes up, chances are your technology is obsolete. How do you put up with this? No, I'm seriously asking, how do you put up with us? This is the choice that we are offering. We are leaving you completely hungry. On the other hand, cloud vendors are feeding you an amazing buffet. Now, the question is, what do you do? If this is the choice, why don't we all go to cloud? That's where the second part of this comes into it. With great power comes great responsibility. You can tell where I get my quotes from. The problem here is that safety is above physiological needs. You don't think about safety until your hunger has been taken care of. But once it is taken care of, you will start thinking about it. Think about it. What if you outsourced it, and your cloud service provider was hacked, and your customer's sensitive information was leaked to the public? What if? The cloud provider is down, and your customers are yelling at you. Your investors are angry. Your CEO is angry. Can you tell them, it's not my fault. The cloud is down. Not really. They paid you. You are responsible. What happened here is something interesting. You outsourced the power, but the responsibility is with you. Let me tell you, with great power and with no responsibility, not a bad place to be. But the other way, you have the responsibility, but you have no power, get out of there, because that's a bad place to be. That is the problem. Now the choices are two. You can have everything inside, an archaic technology, archaic approach, archaic way of doing business, extremely complex, but at least you have the power and the responsibility together. Or you can outsource everything and then somehow live on the edge. We believe there is a better way. We believe the better way should start by looking at the reason why you think public cloud is interesting. And the reason why public cloud is interesting is because you have an unbelievable amount of stack, complete stack they're offering you. Nutanix, we believe the right approach would be to bring that type of stack inside your data center provide you the same kind of service, same kind of visibility, partner with the best-in-class software stack, and build the same kind of stack. But not just the stack. Also make sure that you install the beams and the bridge that goes with it. Make sure that you have a uniform integration plan and a management framework that allows you to have the same view when you have to automate, orchestrate, visualize, analyze, remediate, whatever you want to do, you have the same approach. And on top of that, make sure that you build a bridge so that you get the choice, so that the pendulum can stand right in the middle. So you can make rational choices as to what type of application should belong here and what type of application should go out for a week and come back. Just like if you go to Hawaii for a vacation, you don't buy a house for a week, you rent a house. That type of choice will only come if your primary needs are taken care of. Primary needs 
Things like time to value, speed to market, access to latest and greatest technology, one throw to choke, complete stack, software-based enablement, software-based life cycle. Things like that are taken for granted in the cloud world, and our approach is to bring that to the data center. Folks, it's simple as far as I'm concerned. Every business you are in is a technology business now. You start a coffee shop in, uh, let's say, 42nd and Broadway, and then you want that millennial to walk into that coffee shop, chances are she will be standing right in front of your coffee shop, but she won't see it because she's looking at her phone to see what her friends recommended the best coffee place to go to. If you are not showing up on her screen, probably she will not walk into your coffee shop. You are in a technology business. Taxi drivers have figured it out. Hospitals have figured it out. Every business is a technology business. Now, the question is, can they make the best possible coffee and be best at SEO? Probably not. It is not possible for anyone to be good at everything. But even if you're not in technology business, you better be really good with technology. How do you do that? Now, that's the conundrum that you are dealing with. That's what you are trying to get to. And you know what we are doing as vendors? We look at you and think, wow, here's an opportunity to sell another $3 million worth of stuff. We became merchants of complexity because complexity for us is job security. Job security is good market cap in the Wall Street. We come to you and sell you stuff that we started writing in 2001 and then stack it and stack it and stack it on your desk to a point where you have no idea how to get out of that complexity. Instead of, let's say you are a CIO of a hospital, you really want to reduce the time it takes for that lady to get the result of the mammogram she did. That's what a CIO should be thinking about. How do you put value on the peace of mind that she will get if she know one day sooner that her tumor was benign? You cannot. That's the level of value IT needs to be adding, and instead, you are building HA for your vCenter. Right? We have become merchants of complexity. We have become merchants of financial engineering. We will come to you and sell you SLAs and ELAs that you have no clue what you're buying. Because of the language and legalese, it will be so buried that you'll end up buying stuff that you know you don't need, but you don't even know about it. And you are going to put it on a shelf where it is not going to be implemented because it is so complex. And by the way, if you tell them that, they will sell you a bunch of PSO credit so that you can actually deal with that. And by the time, if you happen to implement some of that, by the time you implement, it's either obsolete or completely dep depreciated in the value. We have become merchants of these kind of tricks as opposed to adding value and solving the problems that you're actually trying to solve. What you need today are not vendors. Those days are over. What you need are technology innovation partners who will become a partner in your journey towards the future, who will understand that you have to focus on what's important for your business and move the needle for that, who will understand that it's not about a three-year refresh cycle, who will understand that it is not just important to deliver high-quality product, but it also is important to deliver it in a higher velocity. The question is, what kind of company can do it? Can a large company who is indebted to Wall Street and in debt with uh, the technology that they've been writing for the last 20 years, can they do that? Maybe. But our hope is that at Nutanix, we believe and we hope that we have earned the right, earned the right to ask you to give us a shot at being that technology partner that walks with you to the future. We don't know what the future holds, but we are sure that by partnering with you, we can figure it out. 
With that, let's go and drink the tequila. Thank you so much for a fantastic day. Let's see you all tomorrow.